Good morning guys, happy Monday. Welcome back to the Lee and Fee channel. Today I'm gonna be, I'm going to be doing a spring makeup look. It was requested in one of my last videos and I thought it would be fun since we are almost in spring. In fact, next week we change the time, we spring forward. So I'm really excited for that. So I'm gonna be making like a, creating like a uh, mauve pinky spring type eye makeup. I did still do like eyeliner and stuff because I feel like spring is a little in between, so it's okay. And I did like a nice rosy lip, some corally blush. So if you wanna see how I created this look, stay tuned and we can get started. It's like 20 degrees outside in March, but you know, spring is coming. So we can go ahead and pretend like it's spring and do some spring makeup. Um, the palette I chose to work with today is the Marvelous Mauves by Dose of Colors. I feel like this is a really pretty palette to use for spring and really it's good anytime, but I do, it does kind of give me like spring vibes. It's like light pink. I got my coffee this morning in my spam cup. Love this cup, I got it in Hawaii. So when I got my Peeps creamer and coffee. Okay, so, hi Fiona. Fiona decided to join us. So these are the colors in the palette. They're all mattes, they're really pretty. I'm thinking I'm gonna use like this in the crease and then the rest just kinda, you know, wave out from there. All right, so. I've already, um, I primed my eyelids and I've, um, oh, I haven't primed my face though. So let me go ahead and do that. And the primer I'm gonna be using today is something I got in my February Ipsy bag, which also kind of reminded me of spring. It's the uh, primer water. I've never used primer water before. I'm not really even sure how it works. So let's just give it a shot. Sometimes heavy primers can make my skin kind of oily. So it's just like that, it's like a liquid. So I'm just gonna press it into my face. I've used this um, Dose of Colors palette before. It's definitely one that you want to um, do the eye makeup first and then foundation because there is fallout. So definitely do that. But this gives time for the primer to kind of settle in my face, so. It doesn't have a smell or anything like that. What brand was that? Touch in Soul. Okay. It says Bulgarian toning water and essential oil. It says made in Korea. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a, you know, my favorite blending brush, my Lisa Frank one. And I'm going to use this one here for the crease. Just making sure this brush is, I mean, this mirror is gonna work for me. I can't believe how cold it is. It's ridiculous. Just a little bit more. All right. So now I'm gonna do a little bit darker on the outer um, corners of my eyes. So I'm gonna start with this one, and if I feel like I need a little bit more intensity, then I'll go to this one. But I wanna start here, because I don't wanna make it too dark, because it's supposed to be like spring. So getting my Luxie Mini Round 141 brush. So this color, this um, one right here that I'm using on the outer corner, it's called Spaced Out. The one in my crease is called Wishy Washy. Hi Kitty. She's sitting right here. Let me see if I can get her in the shot. Say hi baby. <laughs> she just likes to be near me. You're so pretty. Okay, so now that I have the colors packed on the outer corners, I'm gonna go ahead and use this brush again and just blend it out a little bit so it's a little bit more seamless. No harsh lines or anything. It's 
making sure I'm not covering up. So, as you can see here, you can see the fallout of the eyeshadow. So I'm gonna have to, might even have to get a makeup wipe to clean that up. If I had foundation on, it would be a problem. All right, so now it's a little bit more blended out. I'm gonna go ahead and take this lighter shade right here, which is called Rosy. And I'm gonna soften, soften it up a little bit. So it all melts together. All right, I don't think I'm gonna go in with this really dark shade here, because I wanna keep it kind of like light and springy. But if you do mix this in the outer corners, it does look really pretty. Um, that color is called wine stain. That's actually a very pretty color. Okay, so like I mentioned, these are all matte shades, but I do want to put just like a little pop of shimmer on my eyelid because, you know, it's supposed to be kind of springy, pretty. So what I grabbed was my Avon She Dreams in Silver palette. I seriously love this palette, guys, and it's on sale still for $19.99. This is just one of them. There's three. It's on sale for $19.99 on my store. I will put a link. Um, so the color I'm going to use, these colors don't have names, but I'm going to use this one right here. And I'm going to put that on my lid, and I'm just going to use my finger to put it on. It's sort of pinkish, but not really. So you see the shimmer on my lid. Um, it's pretty subtle, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and add just a bit more. So I'm gonna go with this one right here. It's a little bit lighter. I'm just gonna add a little bit more to this. Sorry, I'm covering up my whole face. And for the brow bone, I do like to have a little bit of shimmer on there. So I picked another color. It is by um, M Princess Press, something I got in my Ipsy bag a while ago. And this color is called Biscuit. It's close like that. I've had this for a while. And I'm gonna use this for my brow bone. I'm gonna use this angle brush by Luxie, and it's number 207. It says medium angled shading. Really pretty. I think I am going to go ahead and do a liner because I feel like spring is kind of in between so it's okay to have like a liner so I'm going to go ahead and do an eyeliner as well not a wing just a little you know across liner I'm going to use is the Urban Decay um what is this 24 24 7 glide on eye pencil I'm almost out of it now to kind of set the eyeliner and make it look a little bit more like matte, I am going to go ahead and use the wine stain color just to put like on top of the eyeliner, take the shine away and just kind of make it look a little bit more matte with the eyeshadow. Okay, so that is pretty much most of the eye makeup. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do my face makeup off the, I mean on like time lapse or something because I'm sure you don't want to see that. Um, the foundation I am going to use today, however, is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear and the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear. I'm going to use these today. Okay, so face makeup is done. I really, 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 really love this foundation. It is so good. Um, it has such a nice, like, light feeling to it. So I'm really pleased with this foundation. Um, for translucent powder, I use the Tarte. Close it. The Tarte Smooth Operator. 
Okay, so now we can finish everything else. So I'm gonna put a little bit of the medium dark one here uh, spaced out. Put a little bit under my, oh, Fiona's looking around, it's because of this mirror. <laughs> okay. Hi, baby. Okay. So like that, not gonna go all the way across. Springy, springy. All right, so I am gonna go ahead and put some eyeliner on my uh, waterline as well. And again, I'm gonna use the Urban Decay 24 hour glide on pencil. All right, so that's that. And... Okay, so I got some mascara on my bottom lashes now. Now I'm gonna go on some bronzer. Bronzer I chose for today is the Too Faced Sweetie Pie Radiant Matte Bronze infused with peach and sweet fig cream. This is how it looks. And where's my brush? Okay, I'm gonna use my Japanese brush. Fiona's like, girl, this is my world. You just live in it. Blushes, which I haven't used in a minute. It is the Milani Baked Blush in the color Luminoso. Seriously, one of the best blushes ever. So pretty. It looks like kind of corally in the pan, but it doesn't go on like super bright like that. Promise. I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild. You know, I love Wet n Wild highlighters. This is the color. I'll have a Cosmo. See it? Right there. It's a very soft blush, like the other, some of the other Wet n Wild ones I have are a lot more like booming than this one, but I like, that's kind of why I chose this one, because it's a little bit softer. Okay. I reach for my Wet n Wild highlighters almost more than my like more high end ones. Like I have a bunch of Too Faced ones and other ones and I always end up using a wet and wild one. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put some setting spray before I do my top mascara using some MAC Fix Plus. Ooh. Okay, and the very last thing I'm gonna do is my top mascara and then I'm gonna do my hair and finish up the look and I will show you when I am done. Say good morning to my little sweet pea. Likes to sit here and watch me film makeup. Yeah, hi baby. All right, so I have moved over into my room. I'm going to do my hair now. I want to share with you guys. Um, so that remember the um heat spray I was using it was like this same brand but it was like a dark purple one well I'd ran out and I couldn't find that same one so I found another one and I actually feel like I like this one better because it's not as heavy as the other one um so it says uh protecting silk blowout quick drying thermal spray it says with hydro hydro hydrolyzed silk and quinoa cut blow dry time and protect hair up to 450 degrees for a big beautiful blowout so I really like this I will put a link walmart course. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and curl my hair. Okay, so I am done curling. Now I'm going to let the curls dry, dry, let them cool, and then I will comb them out a little bit. Okay, so hair done. I kind of think like just curls like this looks good any time of year, really. Um, here like a, if it's warm enough to wear like a nice spring dress which it's totally not but anyways the last thing is going to be lipstick my favorite part um so let me go ahead and do that the lip liner i'm gonna wear is this is a jcat lip liner oh no oh t rose is the color not overlining oh, and you can if you want i don't do that Right. 
there's the liner. And then I'm gonna use my go-to lip duo, which is um, Rose Dew by Avon True Color. Again, available in my store. I will put a link. Very, very pretty color. You don't even really need a gloss over it if you wanna just leave it. It looks really pretty, even just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and put the gloss. I feel like it looks really pretty. So again, this is Light Burst, Avon True Color, also on my store. This goes with anything. It's like a pinky nude, so you can put it by itself or it goes over any lipstick. All right, there you have it. Very nice. So this is the finished look. This is spring makeup. I think mauves are gonna be really nice this spring. I think mauves are really nice anytime, but you can really make them look pretty in the springtime because it's like a pink. I'm thinking like rose nudes for lipstick and like pinky, corally blushes. So I hope you liked this spring makeup video. Um, if you do like videos like this, please let me know and please give a thumbs up and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And thank you so much for watching and have a great day guys. Bye. Doing, I'm gonna making. I mean, obviously, right? I'm not just drinking peeps cream. Huge with infused. Hey, Fiona. Just trying to snap. I love it. It is the meal of. I'm not dry. I don't know why I said dry. Any lipstick. <laughs>